Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decision, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that we'll be uploading. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining me once again. Thank you for how you've been following on our lecture series on transportation model. We have looked at solving transmission problem using Northwest Corner method as well as the least cost method. In this lecture today, we are going to look at solving transmission problem using the Vogel approximation method. The Vogel approximation method is a little cumbersome, but you need to be you need to patiently follow through with me on how to solve the problem. In solving this problem, what we do is that we identify the least cost in the row and columns, and then we find the next least cost to that. We find the difference between that least cost and the next least cost for each row and each column. We find the difference. Some texts will call it as what we call penalties, but just I prefer to just make it simple. Just call it row difference or column difference. I'll solve that uh, very soon on the board. So when you find the difference between the least cost for each row and the least cost for each for each column, we now identify the highest of these differences from the row and from the columns. The value that gives us the highest value, the highest difference, will be our focal uh, row or focal um, focal column. Now, what you do is that you identify the list of the costs in that row or that column and apportion volumes from the supply source or from the demand, as the case may be. But that's supplied and if that row and column is fully exhausted what we now do we remove that row or column from the table we now create a new table and start that process again of finding the difference between the least cost and the next least cost identify the focal point the focal volume i mean um, row or column after that we are pushing volume again into that cell to satisfy the demand or take care of the supply. When we do, we've, we've done with that, if that row or column is fully satisfied, we we'll remove from the table and create another table until all the volumes in this demand and the supply side are taken care of. That's what we'll do in looking at this um, solution.